study of German culture in the present day, artists utilize technology in the archives of the past and coordination with their own hands to create something quote unquote modern. Today, we're going to look at Adler Gurrier. Born in Haiti in the year 1975, Gurrier moved overseas to Florida to attend the New World School of the Arts, also known as the University of Florida. As of 2023, he maintains residency and works in Miami, Florida. Before examining a selected work, let's quickly examine this picture of him on his website. I was going to dismiss it as pure visual aid and just an associated face behind the work. However, I was really thrown off by observing Gurrier's shadow. Are the diagonal shadow and Gurrier's head shadow representational of something more? Regardless, in this presentation, we're going to examine his piece named Untitled, alternatively named Place Mark with an Impulse Found to be Within the Fold 3. For clarity and brevity's sake, Place Mark 3. We will analyze the medium of his artwork to provide a better understanding of its composition, relate the significance of the work to establish course content, and reflect on the historical context surrounding the artwork's involvement in the exhibition to Gurrier's possible narrative. Gurrier's Place Mark 3 takes advantage of the contemporary setting to create a multimedia installation on paper. He utilizes ink, graphite, enamel paint, as well as xerography. To clarify, xerography is the act of photocopying utilizing light sensor. In contemporary practices, it refers to photocopying practices with the use of LEDs and lasers, which this seems to align with the flat presentation of the objects in Gurrier's piece. The sign rectangular forms serve as the titular places marked by the artist's impulse, a matter of chance that happened to create a diagonal. The bottom left mark partially conceals some ink strokes that provide a better sense of direction that on the, are unlike the place of the marks going in a different direction. The most prominent element in Place Mark 3 is the placement of images of various botanical elements. Curiously, they appear to loosely form a frame around the marks. Is this an intentional callback? When it comes to observing contemporary forms of art, I researched the works of various artists with the intention to find parallels in iconography. The botanical motif was something that stood out as Gurrier imitates a documented style of approach. However, he was certainly far from the first artist who practiced this. Adolf Duperly and Sons Coconut Palms from the Krista A. Thompson course reading are renowned examples of a similar approach. The photographs of foliage from 1890 features the style of framing with both manipulating the photograph and utilizing a botanical motif. This created a picturesque landscape for Jamaica in 1890. Does Gurrier's Place in March 3 serve as a contemporary approach for establishing a similar identity? Gurrier's Place in March 3 was made in 2017 and featured at the Delayed Utopia exhibition at the David Castillo Collection in Florida. Given the title, Place in March 3 is a series of artworks, and this set there appears to be four of them. They all represent a similar composition. However, Gurrier alters the presentation significantly in Place Mark 3 by inversing the canvas and palettes. Although there won't be intricate observations of the other scripted works, Place Mark 2 unveils a narrow boat that is covered by the marked poles from Place Mark 3. Regardless of its state of visibility, it can be perceived as a metaphor to exploring the image. It serves its role as an iconographic element to tie associations of a rural or even a non Western society. Onaji Takaba of the Sugarcane Magazine reports that the intention of Gurrier's pieces is aligned to visually represent a motif of the Miami botany scenescape. Gurrier's boat seems to suggest that the notion of this series is an effort to revisit the motif of establishing the Miami identity while exploring manipulations of an image with xerography and chance. It must be emphasized that liking Gurrier's work to that of the factually problematic photo of Adolf and Sons stage photograph is by no means stated as intentional by Gurrier. It does, however, reinforce the notion of a persistent sense of nationalism through depicting geographical associations to create a picturesque, whether in 1890 or today. A culture will be immortalized if the simplest associations are made, and in the instance of Adler Gurrier, iconography is the key.